Melissa. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm wonderful. I get to talk with you. Uh, how how could I be anything else but wonderful? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't put that much pressure on me. We never <laughs> know what's going to happen. Well, first of all, congratulations on the 50th anniversary of Little House on the Prairie. I'm a huge Little House fan. Uh, in fact, Allison Ongram is one of my best friends. Oh, I love that. What a tiny little world. Mine too. Yeah, she was just here in Salt Lake City and we had dinner together and uh, um, she's all over the world, uh, you know, promoting Little House and, and uh, its values. Uh, do you do a lot of the conventions yourself? I do not. I do one a year, maybe. Wow. You're very selective. <laughs> uh, talk to me about uh, Modern Prairie and, and Pan Can. Uh, uh, this is a, you know, cancer touches everybody. And uh, this is such a worthwhile thing to, to discuss. Um, how did you get involved in, in what's happening this year? Well, you know, um, pancreatic cancer is 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 a horrible disease, and it it does touch pretty much everybody. It's the the third um, most deadly cancer I in the world, and it touched my life when Michael Landon got it and died from it, younger than I am today, mm -hmm. and my friend Patrick Swayze, also younger than I am today, and it took down these two incredibly vital, you know, almost hyper masculine men in such a, a brutal way and and the effects that it had on their families and loved ones on on Patrick's wife Lisa and on the Landon kids and Mike's wife Cindy it, it was just a horrible thing to watch both times and I felt like I always wanted to do something but I wasn't sure exactly what that was and then my partner Nicole Hazy and I met with um Pam Acosta Marcant who's the founder of Pancan and we were at the 50th anniversary for Little House on the Prairie in Simi Valley, and they talked, these two brilliant women, and came up with a collaboration, and Nicole came up with the idea to take our aesthetic and make products in the color purple, which is the color of Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month, which is all of November. Mm -hmm. So we have a floral that we've done and a stripe. These are the pocket squares for men, and we have throw blankets in the purple and travel sewing kits and sun bonnets of course we have sun bonnets and we have this cute little tote with the badge that says modern prairie times pan can and all of the proceeds go to pan can to help fund support and research into treatments cures and early detection it's so great that uh you're, you're lending yourself you know to this project uh you know of course you like you said i mean michael landon was a father figure to you, wasn't he? Yes, very much so. Of uh, he was like a second father, and also our our families were very close off screen. So we vacationed together. I slept over at their house a bunch. Their his kids slept over at my house. We went to school together. His son Mike Jr. was my prom date. So <laughs> we're tired. And now he's my boss. I'm working on his show now. So <laughs> all interconnected and very important um, because I saw firsthand what. Michael's death because of pan pancreatic cancer did to his family. And um, I don't want to see that happen to anybody else if it's at all avoidable. So I'm really happy that um, we're able to collaborate with PanCan and hopefully make a difference. How do my, my viewers, my audience get in touch with the um, uh, th this this wonderful charity? You can buy our products at modernprairie.com. You can also find us at pancan.org. There's uh, all the information on, on Pancan, obviously, is on the, their website. We have a lot of information on ours. This is a true collaboration. So either way, you'll end up with the products. And, you know, we'd love for you to buy something. These are there to raise money for Pancan. But if you also want to make a contribution or just make a contribution, that works too. It's up to us to do this together as a community, just the way we would if we were living in Walnut Grove, actually, we would pull together to do this. So I'm hoping people will come together and help me in this fight now. What a wonderful community you're creating uh, of, of support. Um, yeah, pancreatic cancer is a thief and it's a, it's a bastard. And uh, I 
honestly think that anything that we can do to help raise awareness during Cancer Month uh, is a good thing because, as you said, and and you know, I I started this conversation out with everyone is touched by this disease in some form or another. Yes. Absolutely. And here's the thing too, cancers don't exist in a, in a void or in a bubble. When one organization comes up with a treatment or a cure that works for that particular cancer, oftentimes it can be applied to other cancers. Mm -hmm. So we want to fund as much research as we can across the board so that we can finally, I, I would love to be able to come on a show like this and talk about something that's not cancer, yeah. right? So let's get rid of this now once and for all let's 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 end the conversation on cancer because it no longer exists that is a goal as we end our our our, our conver all too short conversation um what's your best memory of of little house and michael i've i've so many you know it's 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 so ingrained in my being too. I mean, you know, the, the first memory I had is that first day on the set is probably the one that sticks in my mind the most just because it was it was the beginning of something really extraordinary, you know, and for a little girl of nine to be out on location with that few people, it was just the family at that point and the babies were babies. So I had babies to play with and there was a baby cow to play with. And I was it was the best game of dress up any little girl ever got to play. And I was also um, treated like a contemporary of some extraordinary actors when we were acting together. So it was the best of all possible worlds. I I had the pleasure of meeting Michael Landon through Bill Bixby, one of my friends, and uh, he was such a lovely human being and, and uh, uh, just incredibly warm and kind. Michael was warm, he was kind, and he was also incredibly funny. Yeah. with one of the darkest senses of humor I've ever known. One of the all time, his laugh was not the kind of laugh you'd expect to come out of a man that looked like him. He had this very childlike giggle that was absolutely infectious. So um, he was he was a wonderful, wonderful mentor and a really, I loved making him laugh. That was every day. If I could make him laugh, I was a happy girl. And finally, if, if Laura and Nellie got into a fight, who'd win? <laughs> Laura. Why do you even ask these questions? It's a given. Ask Nelly. She'll tell you. I win every time, hands down. There's no doubt about it. Mostly because I fight dirty, but I win. You're scrappy. You're a scrappy fighter. You'd be surprised. Yeah. We actually <laughs> refer to our company, Modern Prairie, a lot as scrappy. We are a scrappy group. Melissa, it's such a pleasure. I, 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 I'm so sorry I hadn't met you before this. I mean, uh, we should be old friends by now <laughs> well we keep meeting this way you never know we will be probably. virtual friends is always good too there you go thank you so much and again uh the uh the website to for people www.modernprairie.com or pancan.org thank you so much and i'm going to be on there today i'm going to buy some pocket squares yeah awesome i love it well enjoy them and wear them in good health I think a bonnet too, because you know. Actually, you could use a bonnet. It'll keep the sun off of your head. I know. Um, it kept it off my head when my hair was parted in pigtails. And you know, <laughs> it'd be really good on you. I mean, I'm looking at the bonnet now, and I'm looking at you, and I'm thinking, why not? Why not? Yeah, I only wish I had Michael's hair, you know. But then, <laughs> God was paying attention that day to him. Uh, thank you so much for your time and, and your sweet smile and everything that you're doing. Congratulations on, on everything. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful day and thank you so thank much you. for your time.